The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Amit Goswami, the gift of downward causation. So how does all this relate to how we look at ourselves, especially in relation to our health and healing? Let's first consider downward causation. When quantum physicists and quantum aficionados first had an inkling of the potency of downward causation back in the 1970s, many were elated. Soon the physicist Fred Allen Wolf coined the phrase, we choose our own reality, and it became a new age mantra. Many people started putting downward causation into practice, trying to manifest a Cadillac or some such thing via its help. And when that didn't work so well, they turned to manifesting parking spaces for their cars, Cadillac or not, but that did not work so well either. Obviously, there are subtleties of downward causation that the 1970s enthusiasts were missing. What are these subtleties? One subtlety you already know. Who are we in relation to the world? Are we to apply downward causation to a world that is separate from us so that we don't have to be responsible for our action, or is the world us and we have to accept responsibility along with our freedom of choice? In order to make sense of downward causation as a potent force in quantum physics, only the latter philosophy is acceptable. Consciousness is the ground of all being. We must supplement the Statue of Liberty on the East Coast by the Statue of Responsibility on the West Coast, said the philosopher Viktor Frankl. So be it, says quantum physics. So this much is clear. We cannot frivolously choose health over disease. We have to do it responsibly, such as following up our choice with suitable lifestyle changes. But can we even do it with what we ordinarily call choice, by wishing it? If we cannot manifest the car of our choice via wishful thinking, what guarantee do we have that wishing for health will manifest health, even if we are ready to promise responsible follow-up actions? The question of who we really are is a subtle question, the mystics among us declare. We have to do much spiritual work, called yoga in Sanskrit, a word that means union or integration, to find out, they say. Fortunately, quantum physics, more precisely, considerations of quantum measurement, is giving definitive answers as to the nature of us, our consciousness. When you understand and integrate the lessons of quantum measurement theory in your life, you will be practicing yoga of a sort, no doubt. I call it quantum yoga, a scientific path to discover who we are. In brief, considerations of quantum measurement tell us the following about the nature of our consciousness. Consciousness is the ground of all being. Matter, vital energies, mental meaning and supramental archetypes are all quantum possibilities of consciousness. We choose not in the ordinary state of consciousness that we call ego, but in a non-ordinary state of consciousness that is variously known as unitive, non-local or cosmic consciousness, a state in which we experience ourselves as one with everyone else. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.